www.realtalk4radio.com. Join me, Rebecca Christensen Mapston, in real time for real topics on Real Talk with Rebecca on 4radio.com. Trust Rio Silver was founded in 1997. Our goal today remains the same as it was back then, to provide you, our customer, with a quality custom buckle at an affordable price. From 1 to 100, our buckles are all made one at a time by hand. Our only limit is your imagination. Give us a call today at 800-550-7535 and let us help you design your next trophy buckle. That's Trust Rio Silver, Lano, Texas. Find us on Facebook or at TrustRioSilver.com. Proud to be part of She's Gone Country with the CB Cowgirls. Rebecca Lawler Limited is the culmination of a lifelong dream for philanthropist and designer Rebecca Lawler. She designed her patented unique glass heart, which is handcrafted by glass artists in Virginia. Placed in the center is a brilliant gem. The heart can be worn with the Rebecca Lawler Limited signature ribbon or an awareness ribbon of choice. To join the mission of the Hearts of Hope Foundation and add a Rebecca Lawler signature heart to your own personal style, go to RebeccaLawlerLimited.com. That's R-E-B-E-C-C-A. L-A-W-L-O-R Limited dot com. American Hat Company is known throughout the world as the hat preferred by rodeo champions, ranchers, everyday cowboys, cowgirls, and rodeo fans. From the arena to the boardroom, no one does it better. Handmade in Bowie, Texas, American hats are made with tradition in the old-fashioned way. From the finest in felts to the best in straws, there is an American hat for every occasion. The CB Cowgirls are proud to have our ambassadors wearing the number one hat in the world. Thank you, American Hat. Find your own American hat at your favorite retailer, American Hats, handcrafted since 1915. This is 4 Radio, a media platform used to elevate voices and empower dreams. All right, rodeo fans, it's time for She's Gone Country with the CB Cowgirls. Introducing your host, Becky Christensen, and co-host Vicki Christensen O'Shields, presented to you by Boyd Gaming. Hey, let's ride. Well, happy Memorial Day to all of our listeners that are tuning into this week's broadcast. I just want to say thank you so much for all those who continually support us by listening week in and week out. And I also want to say thank you so much to all of our sponsors we definitely could not do this show without you, and your support does uh, just, we, we appreciate you. It does not go unnoticed for all the things that you do. I'm really excited. It's Memorial Day. We've had an extended weekend. Uh, Aunt Vicki, my co-host, Vicki Christensen O'Shields, and our guest co-host, and Ms. U.S. Ambassador for She's Gone Country, the CB Cowgirls, uh, Bobby Jean Olson, are off tonight. So they are with their families in perspective. You know, Aunt Vicki is in Dallas. I know Bobby Jean is in New Mexico. And I am here in Montana enjoying time with my husband. So um, I'm just excited that people are getting to spend some time with their family because it is a very important holiday. And tonight I just wanted to take some time and recognize uh, and talk about those that are out on the front lines, um, really elevating and empowering those that have served and those that are serving. And tonight, you know, we, we – had her on many times last and her organization on many times last year. And we, we want to catch up with her. We want to see what she's been doing in 2017. And we thought what a better opportunity to do that than today on the day that we celebrate Memorial day and honor all of those um, in the military. So tonight I would like to welcome to the show. She is a Navy veteran. She's PBR certified sports agent, and she is the owner, founder and creator of war, which is warriors and rodeos. And that's Miss Sherry Smith. Sherry, are you there? Yes, thank you for having me. Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much for taking time out today. I know uh, it is a very important day for you and all that your um, you represent, your organization represents, and all those teammates behind you represent. So if you would, please, I know you had a special message for those that are listening about the true um, recognition of Memorial Day. So would you share that with our listeners? Absolutely. Uh, We have over 140 members of Warriors and Rodeo now, and today is a day where many of them struggle because it's not really a day where they're going to go have cookouts or celebrate. It's a day where where they struggle as they remember the people that were, um, you know, died on the battlefield with them, their their brothers and sisters in arms. Uh, So it's really important uh, as we we honor our those who have um, died that we can support those who have served at the same time as they struggle and reach out to them today and ask them or or, um, give our condolences to those who have passed away. 
Um, and so that's, you know, my heart today goes out to so many families, mothers, brothers and sisters, fathers, grandparents, children who have lost their loved ones in the line of duty. Um, so that's, it's a great way, you know, something to always remember, find those people who are still living we can reach out to and honor those who have passed together. Absolutely, absolutely. And so because we support our military and their families so much with uh, She's Gone Country, the CB Cowgirls, I would just like to take 10, 15 seconds of silence and, and give them that moment of silence to honor them. So please just bow your heads with us and remember those that have served. Thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate that. I know that um, many of the families out there, um, like Sherry said, it's, it's a tough day today, but we want to recognize that we appreciate all that they do. And Sherry, you yourself are um, an ex-Navy veteran. And you served in the yeah. Navy, and you, you've been there. You've done that. You've got the stories behind you, and you took your passion for everything that you um, saw out there and turned it into an, a wonderful organization called War. And so for those of you who maybe have not tuned into any of our previous archived episodes or heard any of it, our archives, and are new, um, Sherry, share with us a little bit about what Warriors and Rodeo is and where that vision came from and what War is all about. Well, it came from me as I was a, I'm a sports agent, and I was making all these connections and and. Uh, as an agent with different companies and and I thought you know I need to use that not only for my clients but to give back to those who serve those who were willing to die for me and so I found a, a few veterans and I said well hey let me help you transition from active duty and hooked them up got them some uh, different things as thank you the camper for one that was going to be bull riding and traveling just different things that say you know what you're not forgotten we remember you and we appreciate you and it can make all the difference and it grew and grew until one day I said okay <laughs> no longer underneath my corporation <laughs> we need to be a nonprofit now and so we've gone through the work and the efforts to to um, become a nonprofit so we can receive those donations to really expand. Uh, kind of my thought process is we, you know, they wear protective gear, helmets, Kevlar vests, um, just the, the, the armor that they wear, whether it be law enforcement, EMS, firefighters, uh, military, they all wear armor to protect us, to save our life. So you know what? They should not be wearing garbage armor in the arena. You know, we see right. these veterans who just, some of them are medically retired. Like, I've got one guy who's medically retired. Um, he, his, it was a, a grenade. And uh, he was wearing a, a bull riding vest that was too big. And he got hooked real bad. And I said, well, that's not acceptable. You know, here, here he, this man is willing to wear a vest, a Kevlar vest to protect us, but he can't right now afford a decent vest in the arena. So... Um, I said, okay, you know what? No, we're getting you a vest. So we provide protective gears for protective gear for those who protect us. And it really, for for them, it just says you're not forgotten. It, it's really, right. really important. So that's that's really what we try to do is try to change lives. I would say I'm in the business of changing lives, and uh, it's humbling who I get to work with on a daily basis when you have these American heroes that have done things we can't even. I mean, just such heroic things. Um, and so it's, you know, I, I also, a main thing that we do is to help with PTSD, suicide prevention, depression. My husband uh, was sick for 13 years with um, a condition that medical books call the most uh, painful condition known to man, called trigeminal neuralgia. And it was caused by a Navy doctor who was doing a surgery. And so I saw him almost die twice. You know, at one point mm. I even said, God, just take them because he can't live like this. It was horrible, horrible for our children. Right. And so I, I get it. I know. I understand the spouse side. I understand wanting to serve. I joined during the first Gulf War, and I wanted to go fight. <laughs> you know, they didn't let me. <laughs> but back then they really didn't let you. Them. And I was, I was 17. So, so um, we just, we have, everyone has something to give, whether it be, a moment to thank them, um, um, prayers. Um, some companies are just looking for an opportunity to say, hey, you know what, we want it. Like the other day, I got three vests in the mail from a company. I said, well, I just want your address to send you a thank you card. He said, oh, no, I don't want a thank you card. He said, that's, oh, that's wow. the least I can do. So two bull riding vests and a bullfighting vest. 
Um, wow. Uh, we're going to be featured at BFI this year with Helomatic and the BFI in Reno. Oh, yay. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, we're so excited. We get we're, to send... we're, we're hoping Sorry, to get down there, so hopefully I'll see you. Yes, and I'll definitely hook you up with the gentlemen that are going to be there, amazing people. Um, so, uh, you know, it's just grown. Um, I did a, a count. I've never done a count before. And uh, I counted six people that I knew war was instrumental in keeping them from suicide. I say war, Warriors and Rodeo was instrumental right. in keeping them from suicide. And I, we have a secret Facebook group, and I put that in there, and I was just humbled by six, and I got five messages from different people saying, add me to that list. Wow. I didn't know. Um, and so it was just wow. really amazing to think in the year and three quarters that Warriors and Rodeo has been a nonprofit, we have been instrumental in keeping 11 people from suicide. Well, I, now, that's thankfully, amazing. Well, that, it is. Um, I, it's something I never anticipated that kind of number, I mean, one person would make it all worth it. And I always say if I would end it today, I would feel it was beyond successful. This month we're giving away, um, well, it was 12 pieces of gear, and we had a church um, call me on Sunday and said, hey, I need sizes. I, we we're going to give a couple helmets and a couple vests and a bunch of gloves. <laughs> I just was floored. <laughs> I thought, oh, Wow. I mean, here we're well, going to keep these people protected in the arena. Well, one thing I want to touch on, Sherry, is, you know, I know we talk about the stories behind the stories and, um, you know, the heritage and the legacy that Rodeo has and those that have gone before us. But I want to talk about, and we just have a couple minutes before we go into break, but I want to touch on, if you will, uh, what your guests that you would have come on our show last year always connected Rodeo with. Because some people may say, well, why Warriors and Rodeo? And it's really about the camaraderie. Share with our listeners a little bit how these these veterans are so connected to rodeo with the camaraderie. Well, you have that in the military. You're you're instantly a brother and sister, and uh, and rodeo does help um, provide a sense of that. And then also, I think a really big thing too is PTSD. I have a bullfighter who said if he can't get in the arena often, he doesn't do well. It, it is really. Um, important for them to to have an outlet for PTSD and rodeo is huge therapy huge to so many where they can go out there they know that people there have their back again and um, get to have that adrenaline rush that they sincerely do need um, mm. and so yeah it's it's amazing to see um, how effective that is in so many people's life including law enforcement EMS and firefighters Absolutely, absolutely. And I know uh, Maria deals with a lot of that as well, and I know she may have some comment on that. But we're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to talk more with Sherry Hand of Warriors, or I'm sorry, Sherry Smith of Warriors and Rodeo, and find out what's coming down the pipeline for their uh, second half of the year. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. For Radio.com. Join me, Rebecca Christensen Mapston, in real time for real topics on Real Talk with Rebecca on For Radio.com. All of us here at Trust Rio Silver are proud to offer a complete award lineup. From saddles, tack, and all in between, Trust Rios is your one-stop shop. Give the shop a call today to discuss your association award needs with one of our family design staff. And don't forget to shop online with us for that special gift. Our new online store features beautiful jewelry, tees, caps, and much more. Proud to be part of Sheep Gone Country with the CB Cowgirls. That's Trust Rio Silver, Lano, Texas. Find us on Facebook or at TrustRioSilver.com. In today's busy world, it's nice to know that help is just a moment away. Andrea at Rodeo Spot Marketing is your one-stop shop. Full-service web and graphic design service, along with photo projects, printing services, marketing, and promotional. Let their staff take the stress off you and put a smile on your face. Always creative, always competitive price, always working for you. That's Rodeo Spot Marketing. Find them at rodeospot.com. Tell Andrea the CB Cowgirls sent you. She's God Country with the CB Cowgirls is proud to have as our charity of choice, Man Up Crusade. Man Up is working in the Western world to reduce domestic violence in society and contribute to social change by promoting safe and healthy relationships. 
Growing up in a violent home is one of the most terrifying and dramatic experiences a child can go through. Let's work together to help those afflicted to stand and know they're not alone. Find out more at manupcrusade.com. Take a stand and break the cycle of domestic violence. Forradio.com. Welcome back to She's Gun Country with the CB Cowgirls. This is your host, Becky Christensen-Maston, and I am just wanting to wish everybody a wonderful Memorial Day. I hope their weekends were full of family and friends and that we really take some time to honor uh, those that uh, have lost loved ones in the battlefield. And that is what we're doing tonight. We are taking some time tonight and catching up with our dear friend, Sherry Smith of uh, Warriors and Rodeo, or we call it War, and finding out what she has been up to in 2017. So, Sherry, thank you so much for taking some time on tonight and today, this special day for you, to join us. Thank you very much. Well, before we went into the break, we were talking about, you know, how important rodeo is to those that have served and veterans and what it means to them to have that camaraderie that um, they've maybe been missing since they've left the military. So if you would um, maybe touch on a little bit about how serious to PSD, PTSD is, not just in military, but you, like you had mentioned, mili- um, you also had mentioned law enforcement and EMTs and just the different venues of those that are on the front line serving to protect all of us. Absolutely. Well, PTSD, it's it's become quite a a common phrase, but it manifests in many different ways, and it's caused by many different things. Um, The ones we see most often are from combat. Uh, It can be with law enforcement from the continual having to be on guard, constantly aware of your surroundings and danger of being being killed in the line of duty. Um, My son-in-law is EMS, and he was attacked recently in an ambulance by someone who was on drugs and they started to beat up the driver, and and he had to subdue them. So it's a continual not knowing, um, and and it's hard to to let your guard down. You know, here when you live in country, you know, it's it's just down the street. You know, when you're serving here in country, um, you don't get to leave. It's always there. And, um, you know, I I think that first responders, there's not enough attention to the PTSD that they deal with. And and we're seeing the suicide rate go up there also. And it's something that, you know, I know that they're, um, you know, they're really trying to um, bring awareness to and provide counseling and things to help prevent that. Uh, But PTSD also affects the family. And this next year, um, I really want to to do more work with the wives. I mean, granted, we do have husbands. Um, We do have um, women who have served in our organization. Um, We do have more men, (laughs) a lot more. Right. (laughs) uh, Just statistically, there is. Um, But the spouses, um, it's hard. You know, it's, it's very hard. And, you know, so many of them have the traumatic brain injury, which we're seeing come out more in rodeo and bull riding where, you know, with, um, It's becoming, you're hearing about it a little bit more. It needs to be talked about a lot more, and I'm actually working on that because um, so many people that have TBI or PTSD, I've heard one say to me, I'm just a bad person, Sherry. I'm a really bad person. I'm like, no, you're not. You're not. You have a consequence. You know, there's, there's, um, there's a disease, and there's you, and they're separate. You know, we can find ways to help you with PTSD or or traumatic brain injury. There are things we can do. And once they can get educated and understand that they're not a bad person, and here are things we can do to help you learn to cope better with, you know, the the injuries. And so that's something we're really excited about. We have a a supporter who is a, a former NFL football player who had to medically retire because of TBI. And, uh, we're, we're going to be working on him doing some recordings um, that we can share so he can start telling his story of traumatic brain injury. Wonderful. Because you get a six foot eight, almost 400 pound man um, sharing, you know, how he couldn't even come out of the room. You know, so his right. brain injury was so intense, the, the light. And, um, you know, we're really hoping that that will help others Should. to be able to understand the condition better. And, and help you know it is as a consequence, and help help their relationships with their children and their parents and um, education is so important. Um, yeah, that's what I was that. going to say. Is education is important. 
Yeah, so, and there's lots of great info out there, but a lot of people just don't know it still. And so that's right. going to be a real focus this year is helping to educate all of us on what PTSD is and, and what the symptoms of suicide are. And, um, you know, for well, spouses and, Sherry, and children. What, what I wanted to bring up while we're talking about children and spouses and I want to make, and wanted to make sure we were able to touch on is one of the arms that you've – uh, created and you had told me previously uh, before we went on the air that you had really been excited about getting this arm started and that's your Warriors and Rodeo Youth Team. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we're so excited. We wanted to do this for a year, but as with everything, you need volunteers, right? <laughs> and so yeah, yeah. Kelly Trevino and Canyon Trevino are amazing and, and Gina Kilcrease. They have helped us launch Warriors and Re- War Youth and War Kids Um to really the purpose is to help teach them about patriotism. It's really to get them learning like to do that. something, <laughs> learning to do something to make a difference because we have to catch them when they're young. I have six children. I homeschool. Um, and you have to Ooh. teach them. It takes effort. And so we, uh, we want to do what we can to help educate the youth to also inspire others. You know what? America is great. It is. <laughs> it's the best country on earth as far as I'm concerned, and as far as most of America is concerned, it is. And, um, well, you know, but, but we have to keep have it that patriotism. way. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard to have patriotism in public schools today. You're yes, offending thanks. someone if you say the Pledge of the Allegiance or the flag, you know, represents, reminds them of this, that, or the other, or, you, you know, you can't pray in school, you can't do all these things that are part of where patriotism comes from. So we do, we have to be proactive, and I love the fact that you guys have added that arm. That's, it, I'm excited to see where that one goes. And, and you know what? It, it, it can take off, and, and we can change this. It's not too late. We can take it no. back. And if, if enough of us are willing to fight for that side of it, for the education and the youth side, to start teaching them, not brainwash, actually telling them the truth, not taking parts exactly. out of public school books. Let's put the truth back in there. Um, anyway, exactly. I could go on about that one for a while. Yeah. So we've got, we're, a, we're, we've we're got a group of <laughs> you know, I, I'll get high up there, let me tell you. Um, I'll be yeah. cutting the platforms right underneath you as you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so, you know, every person can make a difference, and every child can. I mean, these ch- the child, child shall lead them, right? Yep. So let's empower our children with the truth. And so, you know, we've got a long ways to go with that program, but it started. And, and we're going to keep plugging along and doing what we can to make a difference in that area. And then also part of it is to teach them to honor those who have served, you know, not to awesome. look down on them or judge them. You know, we need to be teaching them to honor. Well, and what it also leads to is it leads it back to a res- a gaining respect for your elders because those who have served, these children, are they're older. They're, they're their peers and they're their elders and they're their grandfathers and great-grandfathers. And it's going to mm-hmm. keep that memory and those stories alive, which are so important, which leads back to heritage. And every one of us have heritage here in the U.S. that we've been raised here. So I'm excited about that. Tell us a little bit about Patriot yeah. Week. That's coming up next week. Yes, I leave tomorrow for Decatur, Texas. So it started last year with the generosity of Fit and Wise in Decatur. It's a a wonderful sports medicine team that was with the ERA. And um, they're with Mesquite Rodeo, Texas Motor Speedway, BFO, um, Wendell Berry, um, amazing man with a heart of gold. And and really, I hope that, you know, eventually we need to get him on your show because he has 1,000 miles still home. And he's one of the board of directors of the WC Challenger PBR event this coming weekend. So they invited us last year. It was amazing. We had two veterans ride bulls in an exhibition um, during the halftime show. The crowd went crazy. It was awesome <laughs> and changed so many lives, just really changed lives. So they invited us back this year, and, you know, I just we got to make it bigger every year, you know. <laughs> yeah. So we're having three. Growth. We're having we three growing. clinics. Yes, yes, and 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 lots of coffee. <laughs> so we have three. <laughs> we have three free clinics. Um, yeah, we're, talk about we're, that. I'm looking at your yeah. flyer right now. It's crazy. Um, you know, Warriors and Rodeo. We're just a baby nonprofit. I always joke that when someday when we grow up, we'll be like those big ones, not too big, but. Um, Everything we have has to be donated. We just don't have the money to pay for teachers. Well, Cliff Cooper, I called him and I told him, 
he knew me, he knew about Warriors and Rodeo through Mike Lee. He's Mike Lee's pers- Mike Lee, I'm Mike Lee's agent. PBR World Champion right. Mike Lee. Yes. Well, his personal trainer is Cliff Cooper at Fit and Wise oh. in Decatur, Texas. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so I was talking to Cliff, and I told him about Warriors and Rodeo, and I said, you know, would you be willing to do a clinic? Well, he said yes, and he called me back a few days later. He said, Sherry, I want to do the whole thing for free, and I'm going to run the whole thing. I have not had to do a thing to organize his clinic except get our people and it's free. Wow. For military, law enforcement, EMS, and firefighters, they have to register with us just so we verify their service. We don't want any fraud. Um, yeah, so he's doing that a two-day clinic. And then uh, Mike Lee is donating a bull riding clinic. And then we have Al Wyatt and Dave Jancy are doing a bull fighting clinic um, all at that- the same time. <laughs> if you don't have adrenaline junkies, then I don't know what you're going to have between the bullfighting and the bull riding. <laughs> oh my gosh! I just did our waiver, and it's like you know three pages long. But yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna be wild, wild, wild. A lot of fun. Um, we have one guy just back from Afghanistan who's going to be there. Um, we have a Apache helicopter pilot that um, wow, her helicopter went down in Afghanistan two years ago. She just um, I talked to her the other day. She just was able to get off the walker this spring. So she's oh, going to be wow. going to Cliff's um, clinic. And there's a lot of things she won't be able to do. So Cliff will do those things right. for her, but there's some she will be able to do. So it's just amazing um, to think we can That's provide exciting. this by the donations of so many people. And then we'll be honored at the PBR again. We're um, participating in the opening ceremonies. And then we'll be part of the halftime show where we'll have two more bull riders ride exhibition again. So very exciting. Very, very exciting. We'll have a booth and raffles and all sorts well, of share with our, things. Well, share with our listeners because we are out of time, but I want to make sure I notice, and there's so much that we could talk about because there's so much you guys are doing, but share with our listeners one, how to find you, and a little bit uh, in a brief minute or so about your new membership format and how they can uh, get involved in your organization. Great. Yes, uh, warriorsandrodeo.org. Uh, it's A-N-D in the middle. And then on Instagram, we're warriors, then the letter N, rodeo. Twitter's the same thing, and Facebook, warriors and rodeo. And... Uh, uh, we do have a new format, which we're still working on. We just changed it a couple weeks ago, but it's basically everyone is a supporter, and you get to choose $25 all the way up to whatever you want. Um, and then you can be a registered supporter. So you register with us if you're military, law enforcement, EMS, or firefighter. And um, there's conditions on who qualifies for that. Um you know, they have to have served a few years. It can't be someone that just did it for three months and decided they didn't like EMT work or whatever. But um, Right. And uh, that just kind of makes it a little bit easier with paperwork and organization is why we did that. And uh, gotcha. we, we have them registered because we can verify their service. Because of fraud, we want to try to avoid that, so we require DD-214 and proof of service or references, things like that. Um, and then once they are registered, they qualify for free clinics, free gear, um, whatever we can do for them, you know, whatever they need. Some don't want anything. Some just want to, they'll meet up with each other as they travel down the road or go to each other's houses and just like you said, the camaraderie. So, um, support. I love it. Yeah. I love it. You do. Yeah. You, you, I've watched you grow over the last couple of years and I see, uh, all the support that's coming in behind you. And it's very, very clear and evident that the people that are involved with your organization, um, are making a difference, and I think it's great. So I just wanted to make sure that I got a chance to catch up with you, we got a chance to catch up with you, and today seemed the appropriate day to do so. So I just want to say thank you so much for joining us tonight, and listeners, this broadcast will be up shortly, and we will be back next week with another weekly broadcast. But I'm going to close it out and say good night to Sherry and say good night to all of our listeners, and we're going to uh, turn it over to Miss Crystal Lyons with a little cowgirl logic. We'll see you next week. person who's ever trailered anything with a diesel truck can relate to this. Don't you just love waiting while somebody pedal farts around pumping gas at the only diesel pump? 
The other day I was pulling into a station with my two-ton and trailer and a lady in a little car whoops in front of me while I'm navigating my way to the only diesel pump. Sure enough, 411 gas pumps are wide open and where does she go? You got it. So before she gets out of her car, I edge my truck as close to her rear end as I can, trying to get the butt of my trailer out of the road behind me. My truck is literally looming over her little car. The Cummins engine sounding like only they do, giving off that distinctive diesel sound. Do you think she caught on? No. She was too busy still sitting in her car, digging through her purse. Finally, I climbed out of the cab and walked up to her, still sitting in her car, and politely asked if she minded going to any one of the other open gas pumps because this is the only diesel pump and my trailer was blocking traffic. Well, she was very nice and said she didn't mind at all. My deal is, why can't people see? I guess what I'm venting about here is we're far too consumed with ourselves in our own little world these days. We seem to be losing the awareness of the needs of others. I'm aware of what people do to us decent folk because we have to put up with it all the time. But am I totally oblivious about someone else's needs because I'm so consumed with myself? Society will continue on its downward self-absorbed spiral. But that doesn't mean I have to get caught up in that current. I'm Crystal Lyons, and this is Cowgirl Logic. For more, go to cowgirllogic.net. Join me, Rebecca christensen Mapston, in real time for real topics on Real Talk with Rebecca on 4radio.com. Join me, Rebecca. Rebecca Lawler Limited is the culmination of a lifelong dream for philanthropist and designer Rebecca Lawler. She designed her patented unique glass heart, which is handcrafted by glass artists in Virginia. Placed in the center is a brilliant gem. The heart can be worn with the Rebecca Lawler Limited signature ribbon or an awareness ribbon of choice. To join the mission of the Hearts of Hope Foundation and add a Rebecca Lawler signature heart to your own personal style, go to RebeccaLawlerLimited.com. That's R-E-B-E-C-C-A. L-A-W-L-O-R Limited.com. For Radio.com.